back to our YouTube channel Excel Bus Testing. Today we are going to see how load test is performing you by using SOAP UI. So first let us know what is load testing. Load testing is non-functional type of testing and in this process the performance of the software application is tested under a specific load according to your project requirement. In this type of testing is uh, the goal is to improve the performance of the application and ensure the stability and smooth functioning of the software application before development determines how the software application behaves while being accessed by multiple users simultaneously basically load test usually identifies the maximum operating capacity of the application it determines whether the current infrastructure is sufficient to run the application or not. If it is not, then you can change the infrastructure or you can change the It can usually identify the sustainability of the application with respect to peak user load and the number of concurrent users that an application can support and scalability to allow more users to access it. And how to start load testing? First of all, gather what's the most critical functionalities that you need to test what shape your end user experience second one map out the relevant user journeys identify how your user interact with your application this is a great opportunity to leverage monitoring data from any apm tool you may use third one is establish a baseline run the test to establish a solid baseline for your application to test against any time performance de deviates from its benchmark, you will know a deeper dive into test data is necessary. Automate and integrate. Prioritize load testing as a part of your CI CD processes and then integrate with the tool you already use. What are the importance of load testing then? Early error recognition. Load testing allows you to identify errors in the development process when the software is under construction. So only expert can do this magic to ensure win-win situation for the businesses and customers. That's one of the main reasons why organization prefers opting for load view. Mitigated downtime threads. Load testing not only helps in digging up the reasons for the downtime, but even helps to prevent any future threads, thus giving a great advantage to your organization to stay active in all the years round. Enhance customer satisfaction. Satisfy customers are the secret behind huge corporate profile as and Low testing is the best solution to spot the errors immediately. Customers find this rapid rectification excessively attractive, which converts them into a big potential buyers into prolonged loyal clients. Reduction of SLA related risk. Service level agreements defines the customer's expectation from an organization. Failure to fulfill these promises may lead to face numerous penalties. So, load testing helps to decrease SLA-related risk by maintaining an excellent business reputation. This feeling increases the trust and factors, trust factor and customer become loyal. Cost effective and successful outcome. Load testing at an early stage helps you to find to solve the errors without excessive spending. So, uh, correlate. So, these are the important reasons why we do load testing and there are so many softwares like load runner uh, which we we can use to do load testing but we can do it in soap ui tool also that i am going to show you in very simple manner in that software you have to just need one rest api and you have done so let's see desktop screen so uh, we have some sample apis rest apis so we'll see by using those api we'll see how to do load testing so first of all let's create one rest project here new uh, rest by uri then we have some samples these are some api links I'm pasting here so this one uh, rest request has been created 
will see will give another rest request sorry from here will add one new rest service from uri and same another api will add you'll get easily this api on google so this is another uh, ui uh, uh, sorry rest service we have created so see now go here create new test suit and here down there will be one check box generate default load test for each created test case so you can uh, generate a uh, load test from here so here they have created one load test for you so just uh, see this is new load test you can rename that i am keeping as it is as uh, my project is very simple but you can rename as per your requirement then this is another uh, load test i am generating see okay so here you here th these are two are test load test cases so this is like kind of window will you will get where there will be threads how many request you have to hit there will be time limit and there will be some uh, numbers let's see for five threads and for 60 milliseconds how much will be the load let's run the test and uh, here you will get messages when the test started when the test will get end if any error is there it will show here and uh, here this will be your uh, progress bar where you can see how much test has been run so uh, by these number you will be understand uh, whether your application is fast whether you uh, there will be any uh, bugs and you can find out so many things by using this load test so we'll wait till uh, your progress bar ends 100% and then we'll see uh these uh, threads and uh, limits uh, will be uh, changing from uh, uh, process to process or project to project what is your application uh, how much uh, volume or how many users will be using those applications these all things matters and your test cases will vary uh, by uh, those project requirements so our pro uh, test is completed we got message also so see uh, this is minimum is your minimum uh, millisecond requires these are 14 milliseconds required and maximum milliseconds was 2929 then average milliseconds was 53 and this tps means uh, your transaction per second this was 6.8 bps means bytes per second and if error is there there will be an error so now what you can do you can uh, change uh, threads to 100 you can take any number whatever your project uh, requirement is uh, now i am taking thread 100 you can take multiple so and the limit i am setting for some uh, 30 seconds so my 100 threads will uh, hit the application for 30 seconds and uh, then there will be some log so let's run the test from here
so see there will be the test has been finished and uh, we'll see the uh, things see uh, there are uh, 12 mini seconds required for uh, test then maximum mini seconds are uh, 1043 and tps is uh, 102 103 approximately so like this there are so many parameters from which you can identify whether your application is fast whether it is taking or it is able to take the load or not so these test cases runs like this so if you uh, by uh, if you change the number like you do some 10 and you run it for 30 milliseconds so let's see the tps there let's see so see test is completed and you can see there is minimum 13 seconds milliseconds and uh, when it was 100 there was minimum was 49 so and tps is uh, almost less than um, 1% so it is like 12 uh, 12.55 so you can observe like this and you can uh, mention your test report as pass or fail according to your project so uh, this was the load case it is a load test case it is very simple to generate and um, so if you have uh, load test for another also So, but i'm not showing that and uh, simply by these steps you can run load test in soap ui if you like this video please uh, like share and subscribe and uh, uh, comments also share our videos and if you have any queries please let us know we'll uh, create one video or we'll provide you information according to that uh, thank you so much bye bye